Hey guys, I just thought I'd make a little video for you here tonight. I was sort of excited. I got some, uh, I got my little pool and chainsaws out. And I always wondered if they made um, bucking spikes for them. And they actually do. My chainsaw buddy, uh, William Bray, on um, the Facebook page, Vintage Chainsaw Cutters and Collectors. He was showing me how his had a factory one, and I was like, wow, that's weird. i never seen one. And then he just happened to notice that somebody was selling a whole lot of, um, a lot of NOS ones on eBay. And so I was like, oh, man, I got to get those. So thank you, Mr. Bray. Those are cool. So, yeah, let's, I thought I'd, we'd put some on, see what they look like. So yeah, I got some fancy little stainless screws for them and everything. So we'll put some, we'll put one on the red one first. And I already cleaned the holes out. But yeah, I didn't even realize, but yeah, they have little threaded holes and everything in the front for these things. That's like the coolest. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, rats, I put it in the wrong hole. I would do that. I got so excited. I put it in the wrong hole. Okay. Now. <laughs> More like this. Oh, now watch me slice my neck open. That would be something I would do. When Max was, when Max was like five or six, he was riding his bike in the garage and slipped and crashed on one of my chainsaws and cut his leg open and we had to take him to the emergency room. So yeah, Christina wasn't real happy about that. So yeah, let's put this one on. Everybody gets a bucking spike tonight. All the little babies get one. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Nice. That's like the finishing touch on these things. Because, yeah, I mean, these are a pretty, they're a pretty powerful little saw. It'd be nice to have a little bucking spike so you can really put some grunt into it. Okay, there's our first one done. Make sure this thing's tight. Come on. There. Nice, look at that. Oh, it needs to be a little tighter. It actually has to sort of bend it a little bit because they come, they come flat, but it, once you tighten it down, it sort of bends it to the curve of the saw. Oh, there it goes. There, it's sucking it down. Okay, so there's the first one. Oh, that looks so cool. Now, we'll do this guy. This is our other little pooling. Put one on this guy. And if you guys are really bored, you can stay and watch the whole thing. I got, I got, so I got this one. And then I got two more, two more. So if you got the gist of it, that's fine. But if you want to see me put it on all of them, stick around. We're going to give one to everyone. Every pool and chainsaw gets one. This guy gets one. That's probably sort of a rare feature too, I would imagine. Because yeah, I'd never seen it before. Jeez, I wish I had like a driver for these for my drill. My, my wrist is already starting to hurt. It's hard on a guy's wrist. Especially when you're as old as I am. I think I'm starting to get carpal tunnel. Oh. Okay, there's that one. I'll check the tightness later, but there's that. That looks cool. 
Okay. Now the old blue craftsman. She's gonna get one too. Oh, this saw is a little. This one's a little ripper. For some reason, it runs a lot better than the other ones. I'm not sure why. It seems like it has more power. Maybe it's an earlier one that had a little more compression. I don't know. This is actually Christina's saw. She likes this little blue one. So yeah, we'll put this one on. Oh, and the holes just line up perfectly. That's so cool. Yeah, at first I wasn't gonna buy them. They wanted like, they wanted like 40 bucks for them plus shipping. And I was like, mm. I was like, I don't know if I wanna spend that much, but then it's like, ah. Uh, you're getting, I think I got six of them. So, I mean, that's not bad. That's not a bad price. And I sent one to William just because I figured it's the least I could do for Sean and me. Because, yeah, I didn't even know if those were the right ones or not. I'd have never found them. It was sort of a weird listing, too. Okay, so there's that one. That looks cool. Okay, we got one more. One more. anti-vibe pooling. So we'll put this one on. And this one I had to do quite a bit to get the holes unplugged. They were all jammed full of something like really hard. I had to get a little pick and pick all the crap out and blow it and pick it and blow it and pick it. Oh, but she's a going now. Oh, this is like custom. All my little poolins have a bucking spike now. That's so cool. Okay, I'll tighten these up later because my wrist is about at it. My wrist is like, oh! Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look cool? All right. Yeah, here's the... Bucking spike special. We'll line those bad boys up. I got one spare one even. Line them bad boys on up. All right. Cool. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I think I might feature these guys for my weekend chainsaw video. So, okay, bye.